today on the 30th of June 2009, I come back to sh help you see the place I used to live in. I'm standing at the front balcony of uh, my flat where I used to live and where I got to know the realities of Kifungira slums. I would stand here and see prostitutes going in the evening, see children being beaten, see like children during school time not going to school. So this is the view of the slum area that introduced me to the realities of people living in a slum area in Uganda. And that's how I thought about the idea of starting the children initiatives. This is the place that introduced me to the problems with children in slum areas. So we will go to the back balcony such that you can also see the view that you get from the back balcony. There are new owners, there are new owners to this place. <laughs> Okay, um, when you walked in, I, I thought you looked familiar, but I, was, I couldn't believe that you're the talk show lady, because really, what would you be doing in this apartment? But yeah, I've been to one of your shows, and I liked it. I yes, think, I have watched a couple of things. I think, I thought it was... What did you like? Um, I liked the, um, the whole... It was genuine. Truthfully speaking, um, I mean, I was just flicking through the channels, I mean, I just found myself watching the NTV and for one I was like, okay. What really caught me was the level of um, originality from right from the the guest himself, the presenter plus also so the crowd as in I think they were speaking about things that are real life, things that you know actually matter to the society that we're living in at the, at the moment. But my little brother, he's, he's younger than me, the last one. Mm -hmm. he's, he turned 16 this year. Mm -hmm. He liked the show. He and and the Yeah, show. and it was very insightful for him, I think, because oh, he's, nice. he's struggling with adolescence and stuff, oh, and yeah. girls and <laughs> all that stuff. So yeah. the core but, benefit I saw from him was the education bit of it. He was very educative. Inspiring, I think that would depend on a few, you know, depending on what, how different sectors how everyone takes about. I think the educative bit was really fun. So you think such talk shows would benefit the youth? Definitely. Um, yes, um, most of the things that he's talked about, mm -hmm. like I have, I have learned them, like as I as I live and grow up each year. But I wish that someone should have, would have told me those things when I was around. When I was between 15 and 18, <laughs> when I was in school, you would have not, yeah, you would have, as in you life would have been <laughs> so um, so much simpler. My name is Mugisha Sara. I am 10 years old. I school at Chitante Primary School. I thank Aunt Farida for sponsoring me and my sisters. Their names are Baba Susan, Ushind Rebecca, and Esther Pendo. These are my friends. I studied them. I studied with them in the same class. This is Nami and Jaruth. This is Ankuda Victor. Bye. So now, people, this is the behind balcony. And when you stand here, you can see what you see. Still, this flat would give you the overall view of how a slum area is and if you can come and see you sit here and maybe you're taking tea or something and your sight is that you're looking at kids or you know some chicken and goats over there or some you know children loitering around on their own so yeah this was my sight for quite a long time so now i have an ngo i started an ngo as a result of my living in this area I said looking after childhood and families in this slum area. Mama Abana Hajit Nam Farid, Uganda is proud of you. 